Oh, okay. That's a lot of settings. Look how many settings there are. There is every setting. That's all the settings that ever have been. And also a controller screen. Uh, I trust you. <laughs> Alright, just I will for now at least. Hey everyone, we're playing Atlas today. It's from the people that made, uh, I almost said Rust. It's the wrong one. Ark. So I guess they had time to make another game or something. Let's get in there. Hello. PvE and PvP. Well, I've never played before. I normally play PvP servers, but I'm gonna go with PvE for our standalone one-off video so I don't have to get killed every five minutes while trying to figure out how to play in our... What is... What are we looking at here? Do I click on one? I do click on one of these. Okay. The Tropics. So the whole game split between East and West. You got Tundra, Temperate, Tropics, Temperate, Tundra, yeah. And then the Equatorial, the Desert and everything. Let's uh, let's check, let's check out the, the Western Tropics, A10. Let's give that a go. Yeah. 154 out of 150 players. Uh-oh. Does each does each chunk of the screen have different? Ah. Okay, so each location has a player count individually, evidently. So Eastern Tropics. Sure. That's only at one third of its player capacity. Let's get in there. So the locations themselves have servers, but they're part of one continuous map or something? This will be interesting. So like always... Oh, cool, it's not connecting. Uh, like always, it's a survival game, so we can barely scratch the surface in a standalone video. So it's more like a chance to look around and see what the game looks like and what the user experience is like. And you kind of have to extrapolate from there whether or not you want to go further beyond my little half an hour experience. I don't think this is going to work. All right, well, let's come back another day and we'll see if on that other day Atlas is working. <laughs> Somewhat worrying first impression. Oh shit, it worked! Like a week later, I tried again. We're back, we're playing Atlas for a bit. Uh, oh god, that's a lot of customization. Click! That's almost the same person. Click! Are there other hairs? <laughs> Do you have other- Oh, that's a body type. This is my aesthetic. They don't really look that different from each other, do they? Oh my god! All right, he comes out in all sorts of ways, doesn't he? What the fuck? He's just off camera. Why is the height range even bigger than the camera? Why wouldn't they make it fit, I wonder? Huh. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of vo A lot of the outcomes are a, a gray man. <laughs> Does he have tiny arms? Am I imagining that? Am I imagining him have tiny, have tiny, tiny arms? This is a monster. I don't like him. I don't like the randomize. Oh, is it randomizing both at once? It is. What, is, what does a female's look like? Like whatever it feels like, more or less. There are types. Okay, sure, we'll just go. Uh, Northern Ireland. I almost read that as Ireland. That is not the correct reference point to be using here. Uh, given name, family name. Uh, given name. Does tab not work? Oh, tab doesn't work. Family name. Create Pathfinder. I did it. <laughs> it let me do that. It let me name them that. Oh, I could have drawn a tattoo. I skipped in a, a vital step to the Pathfinder process, didn't I? Where you draw a tattoo that, I don't know, probably represents your family or you. Oh, you're pirates. Pirates have tattoos. I get it. Is are we... Are we loaded? Are we gonna do it? Blah. Okay, push to talk is B. Okay. I was so paranoid. Oh, 
I might as well turn up voice volume. Let's embrace what other people sound like. There's like recipes and shit that give special things. Who's talking over here? Oh, pff, frame rate. All right, first thing I see is a wild male seagull just pummeling that wall. And this is on the official server, so, so push to talk is B, so I am evidently not just openly talking out loud to everybody. That, is it a bird? Oh, early access open world survival games. You are a thing. Let's see. Uh, to graphics quality medium? I felt some chugging that I wasn't totally excited about. Uh oh. Oh no. I'm not remembering what it was like when I played Ark. And how, how some of this went. Okay, we're back. Um... Shit, it's already on page four of the tutorial. Page five of the I guess I'm just not gonna read any of that, because at this point I've missed most of it anyway. It's fine. Travel to- That is a garish font choice. Look at the color. Huh. This is medium graphics? Did it turn my entire screen to a lower resolution? I think it did. This is an experience. <laughs> Oh, maybe we'll go back to high? The middle- the weird- all the flickering shit all over the screen is making medium distracting. There's peppers. I suppose. I, on page six of the tutorial. They really expect you just to stop and stare at the top, huh? But they didn't give you like a- I feel like it'd be best to give you a ten page thing you can manually page through instead of just auto proceeding. That guy scared the shit out of me. Can I come look at your character? What the f- I don't- <sighs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Look, that excited me. Can I come look at your character? Is this what it's like to play a female character in a video game? The compass tells you direction. There's a lot of interface happening. Alright, so, let's look, let's look around the world a bit. I don't really have a goal, because it's an open world survival game. You kinda... Unless they changed anything about the formula, you don't really have a goal to begin with. You just kinda wander around and try to die. Look at the monkeys! But uh, a lot of the normal risks apply less to me if I'm only playing for a little while. The constant risk of, like, being able to survive and all that. But I kind of want to just see the world. Please go away, welcome to Atlas. I don't want to look at this really ugly box on top of my screen anymore. La, La Mau third reset. Nah, I've lost everything twice in the last 24 hours. Alright. Sounds like if you want your progress to stick around even a little bit, you probably don't want to play this game right now. Judging by chat right now. The environment's kind of neat. Okay, I can't even read that page. <laughs> Wait, that text is going off the screen. You can't read the rest of it. Haven't they made enough money with Rat? Uh, not Raft, with, uh... Uh, not Rift, the other one. Haven't they made enough money with Ark to, like, buy an interface designer? I mean, to hire one, not buy one. I bought one at the store. There's some piles of sticks. And these guys, it's a fem that's a seagull? Come here. Nope. I like the rocks. Kind of looks like some parts of California right here. China Jade. Is that somebody's boat? That's someone's boat, huh? How dangerous do you think the ocean is? Ooh! Turtle. 
On one hand, I want to see what's under the water. On the other hand, I'm terrified of the water. So, huh. Look at you. Oh, that's neat. Uh. Is that a whale? What made this? That wasn't the turtle, was it? Go under. You are cold. You should find something. I'm currently underwater. I'm evidently cold. Fish. Okay, C goes down. Your character kind of automatically wants to surface. I want to look at the fish a little bit. I don't like how deep this is already. It's a level three tuna. Grab him. Punch that tuna. Fuck up that tuna. Mm. Tuna won't know what hit it. All right, cool. Got it. I punched a fish to death. There you go. You're suffocating. That's bad for you. I heard once that's bad for you. Just got it in my inventory. Uh, release body, drag body. No, just put it. Can I not put it in my inventory? I have to f drag it around. Okay. Well, I can probably take this to the surface and cook it or something. Hey there. You're pretty big. I'm a little scared that if I go out a little bit, I'll just start seeing sharks or something. Is this a guy right here? You follow me around in the water? I leveled up somehow. Cool. I guess. Uh... Didn't I have a fish a second ago? There you are. I somehow lost it. But we're back. Ooh, ooh, how... Look how big it is. Drop it. Dr drop it. Yeah. There we go. Alright, um, it's dead. Decomposes in a minute and a half. Shit. Uh. I need to cook with my hands. I did not plan this accordingly. I need fire. Oh, wait, what is... Oh, drag body. Ah. Uh. I appear to be only hurting myself. Nope, right hand's not better at this either. Alright, cool. I got thatch. I did I did get thatch. Where's my fish? There it is. It's gonna be hard to find. You can't punch the water. Maybe I can use this? Somebody else's one for now? Uh, inventory, cool. Do I put the fish in the inventory? No. Oh man, I love the interface of... I love the interface of, uh, open world survival games. It's not a clusterfuck at all. Hold for more options. Where is the light campfire option? As opposed to demolish and access inventory. Oh, I only have 30 seconds. Uh... Tab is an inventory? I. I is inventory, okay. Um. Didn't I have hair before? I think I had hair before when I made this character. You can tell she's female because she has lace for clothes, apparently. Um. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is going to be completely impenetrable for a one off. 
And yet here I am trying for some reason. Oh yeah, oh, look at that map. Whoa, that's the whole island. And that, is that the whole world, I wonder? Oh, that's the whole, that's a big world. Bring all nine power stones? <laughs> Powerful! I love Power Stone. When are they, when, when are they gonna make Power Stone 3? Get on it, Capcom. You bring back Devil May Cry, you brought back Dead Rising, bring back Power Stone. The Aaron wants lungs. I don't, th I don't think I can level that one up. How much physical damage one can take? Is this where I level up my character? And there's also tabs over here, in addition to being over there. Is skills where I level up? Points available zero. Nope. I think I just directly leveled the stat up. Yeah. You can handle extreme temperatures with fortitude. Let's do that. Oh. I see. You can get a speed bonus to your swimming. It requires the skill to base. Oh, you pick one of these first. The basics uh, gives you those skills, including campfire or tools of the trade, spear. I think I want campfire. There we go. And now I can learn how to make a spear. Or I can learn how to make water keeper or basic swimming. Oh, there's the water skin and 15% swim speed. I probably want a, knife, a spear. That makes sense. Cool, so now I can craft a campfire if I get all of those things. It, my fish is just gone. <laughs> Apparently when things decompose, they just disappear entirely. Like, poof. Goodbye. How much do I have in my inventory right now? The family name... The family name family compass? Because <laughs> my name's given name family name? <laughs> I forgot already. Uh, can I punch rocks? It's damaging her, but did I also get rocks? No, I didn't. What's this little stat down here? You won't- you're not gonna tell me? You're gonna give me a little weird flame icon and then I highlight it with my mouse and it doesn't give me a tooltip saying what it is? Cool. These are a lot of identical rafts. It's a little discouraging because you would kind of hope you could make your own raft and really customize it, but... It looks like there's at least like a starting template that makes them all kind of identical. Oh, that uh, that monkey seems to be drowning. Hey, buddy, you all right? You you right? Huh. Okay. See you later. This really drives home how much I appreciated Subnautica when I played it. Because uh, I've probably played like five open world survival games to varying degrees. Uh, my most played one probably being Rust, but none of them for very long. Rust was like a few days. And like, they all feel like this. There's some appreciated, there's some things I can appreciate about like the visuals of the environment and stuff like that here and there. But like, overall, there's just this, this... Look at you. Look at those tusks. You are not afraid of me, are you? Or attacking me. Look at those tusks. Neat. But, uh, yeah, overall it always feels like the game is just put together by... Oh, nitrogen. Thank you. Pick up enough of that poop. It always feels like this genre is held together by duct tape. And wishes. It just always feels so janky and awkward, and it's like... Compared to all the other entries in the genre, like, Subnautica's, like, wow, it sure chugs a little bit when you move really fast. And every, once every half an hour or two hours, sometimes one animal that you might, you might not notice, and sometimes, you, sometimes you notice and sometimes you won't. Sometimes an animal will just go, like, flinging off into the distance underwater and you're like, it's like his people need him. But aside from that, like, Subnautica is just a dream. How you doing? Hmm? Yeah, I know. Life's hard, huh? And it's like, not only was Subnautica beautiful, and it felt polished in a way that the genre never feels, uh, 
It also felt intuitive. I just started playing it immediately, and I'm like, I'm on to this. I get what to do. Not only did you have a goal, unlike most of them, to, to some extent, but also, like, just from the get-go, you have immediate motivations. Like, oh, this is a water planet. I need to focus on being able to survive in the water. Uh, I can't breathe very much. I better figure out how to breathe more and how to fill up my food meter and stuff like that. And then that quickly expands to all sorts of other crazy stuff. But in the rest of the genre, I always feel like I'm just kind of aimlessly kind of coming up with things to do. And in this game, I won't... And in a, in a one-off like this, I won't fully be able to get come up with ideas for this one. So I'm kind of just exploring the map and looking at it more. Kind of like when you play a Battle Royale game, you just want to explore the map and look at it in, in the one-off video and see what it's like. And this is a nice map, actually. At least this island on it. Uh... But I'm totally clueless. And a 10-page... A 10-page tutorial is something... Especially one that automatically starts loading and you don't page through it manually. Just it's kind of an inelegant intro. Maybe even a bit worrying that that's... That that's their presentation when it's their second game. You know what I mean? Like, this is their second attempt at a... At least... And an open world uh, survival game. Early access, multiplayer, and all that. Because I believe this is the Ark people. Is Ark actually out of early access yet? Cool island. This guy seems to be crouching around and punching animals. Wait, no, that's just how tall he is. <laughs> He's just of a very strange height. Oh my god, he's a dwarf man. He's a dwarf man. Look at him go. Oh, he's living his dream of being a pirate dwarf. Why didn't I think of that? Oh. We left our caves to take to the sea. Can I climb that? Oops. Is that gonna hurt? No, we're good. Okay. Oh, right. You collect fibers just by, just by pressing E. Get a bunch of those. I might as well start trying to craft something. Is that enough fibers for now? The guy's voice chatting over there. Can I collect rocks? Yep. Oh, you have to find the individual rock assets. Not just like the giant shoreline of rocks. Those are background rocks. Those aren't real. Hey, female monkey. Fuck you, monkey. That's right. Alright, so that's some A plus AI. These uh, living creatures really want to survive, if you can't tell. Hey, the bird actually flies away. I lost him completely. Is the bird attacking me? <gasps> oh my god, it's attacking me. That's not a good plan, bird. Oh, heavy not recommend. Do not recommend doing this, birdie. Pulse pounding bird fight. Ugh. Where is he? Eh. is not working for me. Do you heal? Okay, it moves around so much. This is agony. But I better get like an, an axe or something. Uh, let's see. Spear. Fibers, flint, and wood. Don't have that. Hatchet. Fibrous flint and wood. Yeah, I need to find flint and wood if I want to craft like basically anything. I can make a hat. Yo, were you able to uh, join that one or not? I don't know what that guy's talking about. He's spooking me out. There we go. That makes up for my weird lack of hair. 
Eh, there's just a bunch of dudes around here. Isn't it startling as all hell just to hear a voice out of nowhere with no context? Did I just accidentally punch that one when I wasn't even trying? Excuse me. I will ruin you, seagull. They're like, actually mad. <laughs> They're mad at me. Alright. Who knew that uh, you think the monkeys would be the aggressive ones? What's this? The seagulls. And they're like one damage per peck. Look at this guy's mustache! Look at that! He sells a funny hat for a gold coin. Oh, we're not getting that. We're not getting that at all. I don't deserve funny. Okay, come on. Let me at him. Let me at him. This is quite the combat. All right. Let me at him. You, you bored? Poop on me. That's a, that's a really big turret for a bird. Just gotta steal this, these guys' plants. Wild pepper. No, that's uh, somebody's garden. You want to tell yourself that to make yourself feel better. Five gold coins for... Oh, a, cr a craftable crew member? What the f... You can craft crew members in this game? What is that logic? I can travel different places. Travel to the south? Is traveling free? Do I get to check out a new biome? Or is this the same area? What? Wait, I already was south, apparently. Uh... North. Take me to not where I already am. The goal is to see a new place. Are, are you joking? This guy just takes me to various parts of the same area I'm already standing at. Travel east? Unless every unless there's four ferrymen that all have the same bridge behind them. No, this is the same place. Ooh, the map. Like a compass and everything. No way. No, they couldn't. It's the same island copy-pasted four times. I was traveling to different islands. It's just they're all the same island. So it's fucking boring. Okay, cool. No reason to explore those ever. They're all the same place. Aw. Oh, it made me sad. Well, maybe I escaped the seagulls that are so mad at me. Fibers. I need a high fiber diet. I'm gonna level with you guys. There's a very decent... I would say almost an unavoidable chance that I will not find a, uh... I'm pretty much not gonna find a, uh... Any flint in this episode. So I doubt I'm crafting even the first thing. I like that they made like a bridge. That's neat. You're cold. Find some warmth soon. What's over here? Am I under attack? Nope. That guy's just hanging out on his later hose and beating up some bushes. Hit this to harvest resources. Um... Oh, physics freaked out there. A lot of stuff was falling in at once. I just want berries. No, not fibers, berries. Alright. You can only harvest berries with like a sickle or something, I guess. Hey, little guys. Oh, that's a really big poop. You, you give me a present? Thanks. I love nature. Oh, look, more poop. This game's like 80% poop, isn't it? Is that a poop also? Is this a giant poop from, like, a dinosaur? Ah, wow, that, that broke right off. That was impressive. Part of me wants to swim directly into the ocean and see what attacks me. The part, other part of me doesn't want to ever, ever see that. Both live and in editing afterwards.
but also part of me doesn't know how to end this video, so, you know. There are ways. It's just terrifying. There's gotta be, like, sea predators, right? Turtle! Turtle! Fish. Turtle? Not gonna lie, if something sufficiently big attacks me, I might actually just walk away from the computer and let my character die without my presence. I don't know if my heart can take it. I'm gonna drown. The Black Pearl. I'm an original person with my own thoughts and ideas. I'm expressing my creativity by masquerading as copyright characters. Yar. The pirate's life for me, and I'm doing IP piracy. Yar. Oh no, my pepper's spoiled. What will I do? Some cool rocks. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't like this idea anymore. I don't like it anymore. I don't want to go out here. Is there like an auto run? You know what? I'm just gonna... Uh, this is terrifying. I'm gonna die. What if I just take... I'm just gonna take my headphones off and hold down forward for a while. And if I look back at the screen and I'm dead now... Uh, we'll know what happened. Yay, I did it! It actually wasn't really a jump scare because a giant name propped up being like, It's gonna be a shark, here it comes! Although that looked like a terrifying shark, I didn't see it very well. I don't know, it's an open world survival game, it's janky. And if you were watching a Let's Try of it to see whether you thought you would like it, that's not how any of this works. But if you just wanted to get a, the look at some of the visuals of the game and me wandering around blathering like an idiot, then I guess you got that. I don't know. Thanks for the thanks to the developers for sending me a code for the game. Uh, check out the link in the description if you want to try uh, Atlas. And I'll see you guys next time. There are sharks eventually. Just had to swim for a very long time. <laughs>